Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. The message reads like this, hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? So I am looking for anyone who can assist me. So what happened is that when I was still in South Africa, I was staying with my ex-boyfriend. And at that time, I thought that I loved him. But after I had met my current husband, then I started fighting with him because I just wanted him to dump me. I later ran away from him and I started staying with the man who became my husband. So when I started dating my current husband, he told me that he had a wife, but this was after he had slept with me. I was really hurt because I I had fallen in love with him. So I then told myself that this man, he has already slept with me. He's supposed to be my husband because already I have dumped the guy that I was dating because my husband is someone that has a lot of money so I wanted him to help me to take care of my parents so I then started giving him a lot of pressure even the times when he would come to my place he would tell me that I was supposed to we were supposed to take things slowly but I wanted him to introduce me to his wife to his relative to his relatives so because of the pressure that I was giving him I then forced him to introduce me to his relatives. After he had introduced me to his relatives, there were some among his relatives that did not like his first wife. So they used to tell me a lot about his first wife and we used to gossip a lot until there were some audios, some WhatsApp voice notes that leaked and I was speaking with one of my in-laws, then his first wife got to know about that she then found my phone numbers and we started communicating with each other so what i'll do is that when her husband will be with me i'll tell her that your husband is here with me and you know what i am going to do i am going to sleep with him until all his pems are finished by the time that he comes back to you you will only be ejaculating water no spams at all so she used to insult me back we were like insulting each other until i fell pregnant when i fell pregnant then my husband said that i was supposed to go and visit his parents so we then went to zim and i stayed in his village later on his first wife came and then we were told that the thing that we were doing it was not okay so she said that she had forgiven me and i told her that i had also forgiven her then she said that she wanted to go and visit her own mother so she left after she had left then she communicated with our husband so they met and they returned back to south africa so my husband had said that i was supposed supposed to give birth in Zim. But then actually when I was pregnant like that, after my husband and his first wife had returned back to South Africa, it then happened that there was this other day I was home alone, but I had some kids that were with me, but they were really young. So my in-laws, they had all gone into the fields to work in the fields. So I started preparing some soft porridge for them. So there was a pot that was on the fire as I was busy cooking. I just went outside this was like for a couple of minutes when i returned back into the kitchen i then found out that there was a chameleon that was on top of the pot so this was really strange because i knew that the pot was really hot so how come this chameleon was just there it was very small so i then looked for a stick and i started eating that chameleon but it then disappeared I kept on looking and I kept on searching for that chameleon all around until I felt a sharp pain on my left leg and then I saw that this chameleon it had bit me on my leg I screamed in pain then later on when my in-laws told me so later on when my in-laws came back I then told them everything that had happened so later on i then told my in-laws everything that had happened then i started to get like really sick i am really sick brother nashi right now 
my leg it is like uh, rotting from the inside i have been taken to different hospitals and that is the mistake that we did so after i had told my in-laws they rushed me to the hospital when we went to the hospital that was when i was told that i have cancer so i am now on cancer treatment but when we saw that nothing was changing my leg kept on getting swollen and right now i can't even walk on my own because my left leg it is very painful i then said let me try to go and visit some traditional healers so when i went and visited a traditional healer i was then told that my husband first wife she went to this other very powerful traditional healer and at that moment when i went to that traditional healer i just wanted to go and do a go back to sender this is what he had suggested at the moment that i had gone into his consultation room he said that let us just do a go back to sender the person that is making you to become sick that person is supposed to be the one who is supposed to be sick so whilst we were in his consultation rooms whilst we were in his consultation room he then took some charms as he was busy preparing everything that was when there was an explosion there was this big explosion and that man he got so scared and he then told me that it was impossible for him to create a go back to sender for me because he was scared that if he was going to go ahead with the go back to sender prayers then maybe i was going to die and he did not want to get involved in that kind of a situation because he said that this woman i can see that in the spirit the place where she went to she went to this very powerful traditional healer so he said that he does not want to fight with that very powerful traditional healer because he does not have the same power as that traditional healer has so he then advised me never to do a go back to sender again against my uh, my husband's first wife so i then returned back home but we then went to another traditional healer that traditional healer then told my father and my mother-in-law that we made a mistake we were not supposed to go to the hospital they were not supposed to take me to the hospital and now this cancer it cannot be cured using the african way because i am already on cancer medication and my leg it is really painful and it is always swollen so when my in-laws saw that the way that i am sick i can just die anytime then i spoke with him and he said that i was supposed to go to my parents so i went to my parents house but the problem that i am facing right now my husband is in south africa he used to send me some money like each and every month he would send me some money so that i can take care of myself and take care of the child that we had together but what he did last month it really surprised me all along he used to send me at least 150 to 180 us dollars so that i can buy some food and some medication but right now he just sent me 50 us dollars that is all that he sent me so when i asked him what am i supposed to do with only 50 us dollars he then blue ticked me he did not answer that message so the problem that i am facing right now is i am always on painkillers i cannot go to bed without taking some painkiller medication so i am asking for anyone who can assist me please help me is there anyone who can give me the numbers of any traditional healer or any prophet who can assist me so that my is there anyone who can assist me with the phone numbers of any traditional healer who can assist me because my leg it is really swollen i regret i don't want to lie to you i regret getting married to this man at that time when he told me that he is a wife i should have told him that we cannot date but i thought that maybe i was going to become his only wife because that is what he used to tell me each and every time when you'll be on top of me but i am regretting a lot brother nashi your dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our sister right there strange things do happen in this world